Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing an 8-4 single elimination Eldritch Moon Shadows over Innistrad draft. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe to the videos. Come check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inez27. All right, on to the back. So we've got Bruna. We have Distended Mindbender. It's between those two, and it's probably going to be the Mindbender. This card has just been phenomenal for me. We also have a Captive in here, Haunted Dead, Brazen Wolves. And those are the most premium cards in here, to be sure. So a little bit scared of passing the Bruna, but I think Mindbender's better. Like, it doesn't resurrect something. It doesn't have Flying and Vigilance, but ripping two cards out of your opponent's hand on turn four, potentially, is pretty insane. So we're going to take it. All right, follow-up pick. Well, to stay on color, we could take the Scavenger, which is actually just a really good card. It's certainly better than Foul Bloods. This, this pack, oddly, doesn't have anything insane in it. There's a Prey Upon as well, a Grapple with the Past, uh, Mourn Willow, Borrowed Grace, Deranged Whelp, Identity Thief. So all those cards are fine, but Scavenger is actually a, just a really good card, and it's nice to stay on color with our first pick, too. So I am on board with that. Let's take it. All right, so third pick. So we got past a red rare. It's not necessarily an insane rare, but it's a good card. I seem to play against it more than with it. There's also a Thermo Alchemist in here, which I like, of course. Extricator of Sin, Borrowed Hostility, and then some black cards that aren't worth taking this early. So probably just take the rare. Red Black's been fine for me, and Occultus is a pretty reasonable card. If you have any sort of combat trick, or any pump spell, for that matter, like Uncaged Fury or something. This card's pretty awesome. In fact, if you play Uncaged Fury on this, you get to exile twice, which is pretty sweet. Assuming you deal both, you know, damage to your opponent. Um, that's awesome. We'll take the Occultist here over the Alchemist. Ooh, okay. Huh, fourth pick captive. Well... I gotta be honest, I do like black-green a lot more than I like red-black. So I think I probably just take the captive here over the greeting, over the wailing ghoul. Yeah, black-green has been just phenomenal for me, and captive is just so good. So we're going to take it here. Ooh, shrill howler, better than foul bloods. There's also spreading flames, but whatever. I'm, I'm kind of down on this card. I've gotten wrecked by it, I've done some wrecking with it, but I'm over it. I'm over spreading flames. We're going to take Trill Howler here. Be happy about it. Okay, so now we have Supplicant versus Wolfkin Bond. You know, I actually like Wolfkin Bond quite a bit, but I'm okay taking the first Supplicant here. It helps with Delirium a little bit, and it's whatever. It's fine. Wolfkin Bond is, like I said, actually pretty good too, especially for Delirium. But I think we'll just take the Supplicant. Ooh, well, there we go. Combo complete. Let's take the Graph Rats. We've got the Scavengers. Very good. Okay, so now we can take Recruitment, which I'm fine with. Seeing a couple late blue cards, but they're not, like, insane, so no big deal there. Unfortunately, we don't have any Zombies. No Zambinis yet, but, oh, well, spoke too soon. There we go. Wailing Ghoul typically is very good in green-black. And yes, I know I just keep saying green-black like we're already it, but I will probably just be forcing it a little bit. All right, we'll take the Mournwell. This card is actually completely reasonable. Nothing insane, but certainly reasonable. Uh, I guess we'll take a Cutthroat. It seems, well, you know what? We'll, we'll take the Cultist Staff. This card, I've just been prioritizing this card too low. And it actually is pretty reasonable. Basically a poor man's true fate sensor. All right, we'll take the Spring Sage Ritual for sideboard. Kind of an overpriced effect, if you ask me, but I guess you do get to gain four life. 
All right, Make Mischief's a better card, but we're just going to take the green card because we want to be green-black more than we want to be red-black. And that is just the way it is. All right. Aha! Collector Defiance. Well, that card's pretty good. So we have Unhallowed. We have Grapple with the Past. We have Hamlet Captain. Faith Unbroken. Liliana's Elite is probably just the pick. Grapple would be good, too. We don't really have any... Well, we've got a little bit of Delirium, but Liliana's Elite's very good. I've, I've definitely underrated this card. Well, I didn't really underrate it. I just never get a chance to play with it. So, yes, we're taking it over Collective Defiance, which is amazing. Faith Unbroken, which is amazing. Hamlet Captain's very good. I like Unhallowed. I like Dragoon and Grapple. But we're going to take Elite and be happy with that. It is a zombie, after all. All right. Condemned is just fine. It's probably better for us than... Well, got to be better than Foul Blood just because it's cheaper. It gives you a discard outlet. Do we have any other vampires? I guess we don't. It's not a huge deal. It's better than a Primal Druid for us, too. Even though Druid's good with the Mindbender, I'm, I don't need to feed the Mindbender with the, the Primal Druid. We'll just take the Condemned. That's fine. It's a rare. It's cool. It's certainly not a bad card. Ooh, another Captive? It's like Christmas over here, folks. Yeah, Captive number two is very nice. Very happy to take that. Ooh, Gnarlwood Dryad, too? And Certain Death? Well, our deck could use some removal, considering it's got none. But I think Gnarlwood Dryad is just better. Sadly, Gnarlwood Dryad is just a better card. So we're going to cut the Consecrator already. That's just not happening. We're going to take the Dryad. I mean, Certain Death is good, too. We do have 11 creatures and 2. The problem is, I really do like Dryad a lot. It's just so perfect for a deck like this. I might actually need the Certain Death. It's not like a premium removal spell, but I'm up on it. Been down on a lot of things, but I am up on Certain Death. I underrated how good this card is. It's, it's actually very good. Considering I have no removal, it's kind of an appealing pick here. Like, we're going to be able to find enough creatures. It's just Dryad can be really good if you have Delirium. I guess we're going to take the removal. I'm, I'm just concerned we get zero pieces of removal. And then our deck is going to be struggling. All right, we have Scarecrow here, but I think I'm going to take Grapple. It's very good with the Elite. Feeds Delirium. I like the Scarecrow a lot, too, but we're looking for some premium non-creature spells at the moment. We are good on creatures. All right, Borrowed Malevolence is also some removal. I already said I like Unhallowed a lot, but since we are hard up for removal spells and Malevolence is a pretty good one, we'll take it. All right, we can take the Foul Blood now, or the Primal Druid. Eh, we'll take the Foul Blood, it's fine. It's a zombie, too, so it works with our recruitment. Okay, Swift Spinner, certainly a playable card, nothing exciting. Ooh, got the Unhallowed anyway, very nice. We'll take it over the Wolfkin Bond. Yeah, I actually just really like Unhallowed a lot. It's also another zombie. All right, we'll take the Primal Druid here. Don't really need it, though. Hope to not play it. All right, Succumb gives us a little bit of card advantage. I'll just stop making the I'll succumb to taking it joke. Wow, that's a late Grizzled Angler. I'm still going to take the second Swift Spinner. Can be a useful card. Well, we already have you, Cultist Staff. So I guess we'll take this second Supplicant, though. Completely unnecessary. Um, Whatever, we'll just take the Ravings. So we've got ourselves a deck, and I don't regret the certain death pick because kind of as expected, we're still hard up for removal. We have two removal spells, and one of which is like, you know, does not deal with everything. So we have Tooth Collector, but I think we got to take the Recruiter. I just love this card. Ongoing Investigation. I really like Investigation 2, and it's absolutely a card worth splashing the top end for. Most, not most, I think, well, maybe most. I feel like most people splash the green part, but I like splashing the, the mana cost part, to be honest. But let's just slam dunk Recruiter and be happy about that. Ooh, Concoction. Well, hard up for removal? No longer. Yeah, you know, the funny thing is Diagraph Colossus is actually 
probably playable in here. What do we got? Ghoul, Recruitment, Elite, Foul Blood, Unhallowed. It's not bad. It's certainly, maybe we wheel it. It's not like this anybody's high up on this card. So what's our first cut? Because we're going to play 17 lands. All right, Supplicant can get the boot. We already got one. Probably don't even need one. Concoction is awesome, though. Ooh, Deadweight. Immediately rewarded with another premium removal spell. So let's take the Deadweight. Maybe wheel the Autumnal Gloom. I would totally play it in here. We can absolutely get some Delirium going here. So let's cut uh, maybe a Swift Spinner. We've already got one, right? So now we can take a Throttle, and then we're probably just good on removal spells. So, um, you know, I'd probably rather run Recruitment than Succumb, just because I actually have a fair amount of zombies. And I've got the Self Mill going, which can go well with it. All right, and I'd like to bring back a Mindbender if I have to. All right, let's cut the Succumb. Let's bring in the Throttle. And then we're, we're looking kind of pretty. There's a fork in the road here, too, an explosive apparatus, and the woodland stream, which let us splash the ongoing, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we can take the scavenger here. I mean, we're not like a dedicated delirium deck, but we have instant. We have enchantment that feeds graveyard. We have enchantment, and we have instant that feeds graveyard. I mean, we can get delirium with this deck, absolutely. So I guess we'll take the scavenger. Okay, so what are our... Skeleton Synergies. We have Concoction. We have Condemned. We have, I guess, Cultist Staff, sort of. Gavin Unhallowed, kind of. Eh, maybe. I a uh, Supplicant, too, perhaps. I mean, there's nothing else here we really want. I could play the Pale Rider, actually. Pale Rider is a pretty reasonable card. This doesn't exactly strike me as a Pale Rider deck, but it's probably a better card overall than Skeleton, by a little bit at least. Um, how are we looking in the late game? We only look okay. We've got we've got a little bit of a game plan in the late game. I mean, Pale Rider can beat down. I'm going to take the Skeleton anyway. I don't know if that's right, but for some reason this doesn't exactly strike me as a Pale Rider deck. So Groundskeeper with our Self Mill still could have some synergy with like Condemned. Bring back a land, discard it. Same with Supplicant. So it's basically filling the same role as Sanitarium Skeleton. Or we can play Bob Manley. Which... Hmm. It's like a one-time effect, but it's also a 2-3, which is infinitely better than a 1-1. Alright, let's take Bob. I mean, honestly, neither of them are probably making the deck. So we take the Provisioner here. Probably don't have enough humans to make it work. But I don't really fear the Reaper, nor do I fear anything else in this pack. So I guess we'll take it. Ooh, Cryptolith, right? Well, it's kind of a cool card. I don't need the Noble, so all right. All right, we'll take Clip Wings for sideboard. I actually like Farbog Revenant, but yeah, it's pretty good with a Cultist Staff, I guess. I just don't think we need it. Clip Wings can be a really good sideboard card, especially now that we've... We know someone's got that uh, Bruna. So we can take the Macabre Waltz. Overall, it's probably just a better card than Cemetery Recruitment. Like, not having to return a zombie is just nice. Biting Rain is more of a sideboard card. We might actually just play the Macabre Waltz. All right, we're going to steal the Woodland Stream from whoever got that sweet, sweet ongoing investigation. All right, I don't think we need Haunted Cloak. We're good on equipment. All right, well... So, the good news, we ended up with plenty of removal, enough to make this deck totally viable where it needs to be. And we have cuts to make, which, as I love to say, is the best problem you could possibly have. So let's figure out what we're cutting. We're going to play 17 lands here. And I think we are actually going to keep the cultist staff. I like just having all of our dudes be bigger dudes later. All right, so let's let's start on the cuts here. So... I think probably the... We have 19 creatures, so we can afford to cut four creatures. Um, so, I think Scavenger can probably get cut. I think Provisioner can get cut. I think Builder and Pro, or, uh, Bob Manley, of course. And Swift Spinner, probably. 
All of those cuts seem fine. We could swap the Scavenger for the Mourn Willow, but yeah, I mean, we're not like dedicated Delirium. Either way, I'd rather maybe, I'd probably rather have a 3 2 haste than a, with a potential upside than 0 4 with potentially a 3 4 for one less mana. Eh, yeah, I think Mourn Willow is probably better. Probably. Two less toughness is quite a bit different. Um, probably don't need this Cryptolith, right? No need for the for a third color, right? We don't have anything that we're splashing, no. It would have been cool to get the ongoing and wheel the Cryptolith, right? That would have been interesting. So we have to cut these five cards, and then we cut one more spell, and we are officially a deck. So it's probably either Macabalts or Recruitment. Let's do a final zombie count. I think it's actually relatively low, though. One, two, three, four. And that's it? Yeah. Let's just take out the Recruitment, leaving the Macabalts. And this is the deck. Yeah, this is a good deck. I like it. Right? We got Concoction, Deadweight, Malevolence, Throttle, Certain Death, so we can kill things all day. We've got enough ways to finish our opponent off, I'm hoping, right? Like, Liliana's Elite gets amazing in the late game. Unhallowed gets amazing in the late game. Um, Cultist Staff turns our dudes into fatties. Stromker Condemned, not really that amazing, but the captives are. They can get there. We've got some good card advantage in Macabre Waltz, Midnight Scavenger. We've got the sweet, sweet Graf Rats, Midnight Scavengers combo. So, Shrill Howler. Yeah, this, you know what? This deck's got enough ways to win. No evasion, but of course the Mindbender as well. So, no evasion, but eh, it's still, it looks like a deck that can get there. So, my style, I like it. We're going to run it like this. Oh, wait, I should, I probably need lands, right? What deck can run without lands? Not that many. I hope someone posts a list of a landless deck. That would be cool. I'm sure it exists. All right. 10-7. Seems good. I do want to play these on turn two, though. Is it too dangerous to go 9-8? The problem is if I don't have a green mana on... But we are pretty light, pretty green light. Definitely. And we still have a lot of need for black, right? We want... Two black. All right, I think we're going to do 10-7. This could be dangerous, but 9-8 seems excessive for green. So, all right, here is the deck. See you round one, folks.